Hey, it's Sean from Zula Driving School. So sometimes our students get into our vehicles and they're surprised that we have a brake on the passenger side of the vehicle. And then they ask, well, are you going to brake for me? And the answer is very rarely and in emergency situations. So as an instructor, we're trying to make sure that you feel like you're in charge of the vehicle at all times. If we feel, for example, that it's safe for you to do a rolling stop, we'll just let the rolling stop happen at a stop sign. And then we'll ask you whether you notice that you did a rolling stop. Sometimes our students like no i didn't realize i made a rolling stop i thought i'd made a full stop so in those situations where not breaking for you is not going to be catastrophic we rather you make the mistake and learn from your mistake firsthand but let's say we are at an intersection waiting to make a left turn and it seems like you're about to make a turn and you know that you have engaged the distance from the oncoming cars safely we may go ahead and press a brake now generally speaking we will tell you to brake. If we feel like that there's not enough time for you to react to what we're saying, or it's just not going to be safe enough, we may go ahead and intervene. But it's our last resort. It's not what we like to do while you are controlling the car. Because every time we go for that brake, it does kind of affect your confidence in your own abilities. Now, if we do engage the brake, we will at some point during the lesson, pull over and discuss why we had to use the brake and let you know that we did in fact use the brakes so that you don't leave the lesson thinking like everything was fine when, for example, there was a situation where we had to brake for you in an emergency scenario. So I hope that kind of clarifies when and where we might use a brake on you. I hope to see you in the lesson soon.